today we're in the herd with men's soccer. After last season's loss to NCAA Sweet 16 bound Colgate in the Patriot League postseason tournament, Coach Brendan Nash's team went right back to work. I think when we look back on last year, we we're disappointed how it ended, and then to see Colgate go, go on to run, it was, uh, I would say, bittersweet more than anything else to know that we were that close to, to accomplishing close to our goals. Uh, some people have congratulated us on having a, a pretty good season, but our guys don't accept that. The fact is that Colgate won a championship, and it gives us a little fuel for the fire for this season. He says that one thing his team learned from last year was to make sure they played a full 90-minute game. Then, in the spring, they found out that they need leaders to step up. We only had three seniors in Jack and, and Dan and Ben, but the three of them actually did do a, a good job of leading the team. So we do have that void. Uh, when you look at it statistically, you know, we don't lose much statistically, but we know that Bucknell soccer is more about intangibles and working hard than it is about statistics. One of this year's seniors actually hails from New Zealand. It is Stefan Christman, and he says this could be a special year. I'm excited to get out there with the boys. Um, we've got a good, good uh, recruiting class this year. A lot of guys are looking sharp, looking good in the fitness testing, so looking good in the lift this morning as well. While Chrisman grew up playing soccer in New Zealand, he says that the game is played differently in the States. More physical. Uh, the game back home is more sort of technical and say sort of slower. Um, sort of more technical and slower, but here it's a high paced game, physical. Um, for fairly like direct, um, so no, yeah, different game, but you know, it's taking time to adjust, but no, it's good. Over the summer, Chrisman stayed in Lewisburg, taking a summer course at Bucknell, while also working with locals on his soccer game, and working at Bucknell's library and IT department. 